Well, the, the, the expeditions itself is just a good way to get out, to study the old industrial archaeology, to study the um, uh, the old mine dumps and that. And then also there's, there's the, the, the wildlife that goes with it. You know, these mine dumps are heavily polluted with um, met metals and copper and zinc and arsenic and the like. Very few things will grow on them. And in fact, back in the old days, the old miners would find the lead mines and the like by looking for specifically for the plants that are able to grow only on the lead rich areas. So they had lead wart, you know, and if they found lead wart growing in an area, they knew there was possibly lead in the soil there um, that uh, they could exploit. And these sites are, are very, very interesting. They're remote areas, it's nice long walks to get to them. But then when you get there, you break open a rock that's been sitting there for 300 years, you know, after it's been extracted from a mine underground, you break it open and you're the first person to see if there's something beautiful inside that, you know, a wonderful crystal or a coloured um, group of crystals. You're the first person ever, ever to see that.